Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Game Tech UK, welcome back to more on the road, looking at the consoles, looking at all console versions actually, before release. Today we're going to be looking at the Xbox X, not the Xbox X series, so the Xbox branding is actually diabolical isn't it? This is the Xbox One X, so this is the, um, th this is the PlayStation Pro isn't it basically um, so that's the one we're going to be looking at um, and after yesterday's stream on the Xbox One standard which was disappointing in certain areas I've had a lovely positive chat today with Martin from Aerosoft there wasn't going to be a day one patch but now there is now there is so we are going to have the Scania fixed we're going to have you know the problem that I discovered with the higher button that's going to be fixed also they're going to put in my um, my feedback on you know connecting the truck that's going to be day one as well so things are looking positive there they want to make this a success and also i've been talking about the playstation 5 um enhanced version um coming in a matter of weeks apparently um two to three weeks so we are going to get a, an actual next gen version um and their aim there is to just max all the graphics out i can't wait for that it's going to be fantastic but it does seem a little bit more positive than last night what was our main thoughts from last night the mirror I couldn't get an answer for the mirrors. I couldn't get an answer whether they're hoping to get them put in. That's fine. I don't want to push the subject. But we was really disappointed with the Scania, wasn't we? That's going to be fixed. Um, we was really disappointed with the higher system. Um, you know, it, for all intents and purposes, it wasn't working. It literally just wasn't working. We had to do a workaround. We had to find the problem. And now they know the problem. That will be fixed as well. Um, so, you know... The Xbox One is always going to be 30 frames. You know, you can't you can't expect any more than that. You know, the problem is people people expect next gen games on the same gen console, so it, it's always going to be a compromise. Uh, so I don't think the Xbox One is going to run much better. So if that really kills you, then you know you need to have a think about it. But they are going to fix the bugs basically, which is good. Um, and the mirrors, I couldn't nail him down on if they're going to be fixed so that's fine um, but we have got the PlayStation 5 version I don't know if that's going to be a free upgrade I don't know if that's going to be a paid for option um, if it is paid for I would have liked it to come out at the same time um, so fingers crossed it's a free upgrade I really hope it is but um, a break reverse yeah nothing on that yet I think that'll be afterwards but at least we're getting a day one patch now so they're not going to release a broken game because that is effectively what it is. You can't use the Scania with the cattle. Um, and I've also uh, told them about when you take an employee out as well. They didn't seem to know about that. So hopefully uh, my feedback can get it there as quick as possible because that's one of the beauties. You know, having a YouTube channel isn't just about getting codes early i mean that that's that's not part of it for me anyway it's about having a look at the game and feeding back as much information as i possibly can to make the release better that's my little job here done and to inform you what this current state of the product's like and try and help them make a better product for you and me so it's working that you know they are they are finding the fixes um and, and silly things like the other day we discovered how hard it is to attach and un unattach that's in that's done so we're working together and that's why on that stream I did take about an hour to connect it because I thought it was important rather than just going, oh, I'll do that off stream. We spent nearly an hour working it out and we worked out what the problem was. They saw us working it out together and they fixed it. So absolutely perfect. That's what this is all about. That is what this is all about. It ain't just about getting codes before anyone else. It, it, it's a job. It's a, it's a process. So hopefully you're enjoying being part of that process. Um, all right, let me say some names and then we'll just get on with it. Today will be about an hour. All I want to look at on this particular one, you know, we are going to start afresh. I haven't had a look at it. We're just going to have a look. You know, th there's nothing really more to show you about the game. We will probably go scan it and just maybe go and deliver something in the rigid truck let me say some names um we've got big man james kyle austin gordon's in here hello gordon stimpson we got will comrad james lady peaches we've got lee you're not a tester though you're a paying customer yeah of course but i have the privilege of getting it early so i don't mind that and it's part of the channel um uh, ricardo jack cohen a uh, aaron how you doing we got madman um day one patch yes yeah day one patch i've just had confirmation of that so that's good i've had a chat with martin this afternoon nice positive chat so they really want to sort it out 
um, DB, Dean, Snexter, um, Joshua, Ross Stewart, we've got Richard, we've got Aiden, we've got Jed Morris, Graybeer the First, James Wood, Neil Stephen, Steve, Stapleton, Aiden, out in the field, give the game a chance, buddy, not everyone, not every game gets all day one patch, exactly, Aiden. Um, but yeah, I did say the positivity has come back for me a little bit, knowing that, you know, the problems that I encountered um, in this early version you're not going to encounter that that cheered me up yeah that cheered me up um do the mirrors work on playstation 4 we'll find that out tonight yeah i am a tester yeah 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 no you're totally right that's part of what the channel is about it's not just about me playing it it's about me getting it early like i said and experiencing the game uh yeah part of that privilege is you experience it before anyone else but i do that on stream with you and i feel my responsibility is to report back everything, everything I possibly can. Wrote them a big email, um, and that's part of what I do. That's why developers send me codes, and it keeps it all going. Um, and if it's bad, I'll say it's bad. You know, we did in, in, encounter some dodgy stuff last night, but next time you get in the Scania on day one, you won't have the same problem I had. Um, right, I have got a feeling... I have got a feeling... Xbox aren't going to have um, mirrors across the board until either that day one patch unlocks them. I think what's happened here, we'll, we'll try it. I've got a, I've got an inkling that Xbox isn't, any Xbox is going to have mirrors, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, if they're going to sort things, then fair play to them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I always give them a chance. And, you know, if you, if you think about it, apart from the performance on the Xbox, which no one can help it's just fact of life um lack of power and trying to do one of the latest games that's also sort of stepping across to next gen um you know the xbox is having trouble but apart from that apart from that there's not actually that many problems and i enjoy this game i, I still enjoy this game um I, I like playing it i like getting outside the truck i like working out multi drops i like organizing employees i like this game and when i played it on the playstation 5 absolutely sweet absolutely sweet um uh, so i'm hoping this what am i hoping from this one i hope there's mirrors but i've got a, a sneaky feeling that the mirrors are just switched off on xbox so i'm hoping there's mirrors this is effectively more powerful than the playstation 4 pro isn't it the xbox one x was it, it is a beast so i'm hoping to get 60 frames i'm hoping that it runs similar to how it run on the playstation 5 we'll get in and we'll have a look yeah we'll have a look um and they do seem um <laughs> potato yeah exactly uh so we're saying the mirrors are just a bug and they're supposed to work no i think that they've been switched off for performance issues yeah yeah <laughs> potato yeah yeah, the mirrors were changing whether it was grey for the road or blue for the sky. I think that's as much as they changed. Yeah. Yeah, bugs are... Um, bugs are just a, a part of our life, aren't they? If you're an early adopter of anything, you know, you, you do put yourself forward for bugs. Now, if you was just a general gamer and um, you could wait three to six months after release for every game you ever purchase you probably wouldn't encounter that many bugs it's just that we all want it day one we want it the minute it's done and unfortunately development this time is so pressurized um that they i think maybe the testing from years ago they used to have test department i think that test department is now smaller and smaller to developers just try it for themselves but they don't have the time to try everything although you would think that they would have gone in the scania um and done what i done within the first hour but hey um i'm positive on this game and i think yeah i'm positive it was nice having a chat this afternoon and knowing that yeah there there is people caring about this game that was the good thing yeah let's check them these mirrors yeah sorry yeah let's get on i was just having a cup of tea but yeah you know don't don't worry about me don't worry about me right let's uh let's make that full screen for me right we're going new game do you really want to overwrite this profile? Uh, oh, that's probably because it's on the Xbox, isn't it? But yes, yes. Okay, so let's, um, let's do this. Let's do the usual. Game Tech. Uh, have you tried scanning on the PlayStation? No, I'll try that tonight. Although there isn't really much point because it's going to be fixed. So I can sort of, um, you know, I'll, I'll question them that if it's not fixed, but I've been told it's going to be fixed. So it's not that much of an issue, actually. Uh, company, let's just do... Um, oh, no, not that one. It's that one. 
Let's just do GT UK. Yeah, I have uh, gaming. Yeah, I have. Yeah, annoying, wasn't it? Okay, player image. Who should we go with today? Let's go with this. Um, that's quite an annoying picture, isn't it? <laughs> Is that just me? Does anyone else find that picture quite annoying? Yeah, that one's annoying. So we will go with that. I mean, if she worked for you, you'd be like, oh, here she comes. Here, here comes Claire. Here she is. Uh, company, right. That's, um, I like that one. I think that's going to be my go-to. Uh, truck brand, let's go, with, uh, let's, go, um, let's go with Scandia. We just won't go to the cattle. That's fine. Headquarters, let's go to a different headquarters. <laughs> it's a poo face. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Karen, yeah. She might be one of the devs. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I should imagine it's inherent with the actual game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's um let's have a look. Let's go where haven't we been? We haven't been to Hamburg. So let's go to Hamburg. Yeah, the, I don't know whether it's an upgrade though, Lee. I, I I I don't know if it's an upgrade, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox X. I don't know if it's an upgrade or a new product. If it's a new product and it needs to be purchased separately, they really should have released it all at the same time because a lot of people are buying this to play it on their next gen console and then oh it is a next gen version as well do i have to buy that one as well so i really hope it is a free upgrade we'll see imagine if that's thomas's wife <laughs> you'll go oh actually yeah this is annoying me <laughs> No flying trucks, there probably will be Joseph, but I have pointed that out and they have taken it on board and said we are going to test that. <laughs> Martin's wife, I'm sure it's not. And if it is, then I'll take back everything I've said. Riley, what about the Xbox Series S? I'll show that over the weekend sometime. Um, tonight at 8 o'clock, I'm going to show you standard PlayStation 4 footage. Again, that'll be about an hour long. The, these streams where I'm just testing different formats, I don't need to be any longer than that. The one that I'm going to spend the time on is PlayStation 4 Pro, because I know a lot of people have got a PlayStation 4 Pro. I'll, go, I'll get back on the wheel for that. And um, for me, the PlayStation 5 version. Uh, right, Hamburg, here we go. Oh, that, that looked nice from that little... Hang on, that looked... That looked better, didn't it? Right, we've got much better frames there. That's interesting. No mirrors, I can see that from here. No mirrors. Right, so what I think has happened is, is that they've just switched... I should imagine they've just switched the mirrors off for all Xbox versions until... They maybe patch it or either decide that they can't get it working on the Xbox One or decide to switch just the Xbox One off and switch all the rest on. Because there's no problem with this performance. Look at it. There's absolutely no problem with the performance at all. So you can see that, you know, all the all the frames are running absolutely fine. Looks really sweet, actually. Um, so I should imagine, of course, the Xbox One X can handle mirrors. We know that. I should imagine in the file somewhere they've just switched mirrors off. So don't worry too much about the um xbox one x mirrors i'm sure they will happen i'm sure they will yeah um yeah okay can we jump now to playstation 4 pro <laughs> playstation 4 standard tonight yeah <laughs> oh you can uh, that's what i'm here for you don't have to ask me you you do whatever you want you do whatever you want i'm here um to show you as much as i possibly can uh so ignition up Let's put the, do we need lights on? Let's just put that like that. <laughs> just revert. What was that reversing? Oh, the card. I was going to say, why, why is there a reversing noise? Okay, put the handbrake on. Let's see whether this works, actually. Um, so it should just be able to go change mode and accept. No, it's not working. I did tell them about this and they didn't seem to know. Yeah, so vehicle start, accept, accept, right, put it in and come out, accept, insert card, no, it's not working, it's even worse on this one, uh, put the card in, right, we've got nine hours now, so that should be fine. Yeah, 
I'm hoping that gets included in the day one patch because uh, people just aren't gonna they're, they're gonna understand it are they it's already a bit of a pain you have to put it in confirm your mode press confirm that's either for sleeping or for driving and it just doesn't work does it so they do need to sort that out um, where is the petrol where is petrol up here okay so we need to turn right right again right again yeah, all Xbox um, don't have mirrors. That's not to say that they won't have mirrors. I'm pretty certain the higher ones will. I should imagine maybe Xbox One won't. I don't know, but um, there's absolutely zero reason why. Look at the rest of it, how it's running. It's running um, as close to 60 as you could probably get. Um, it's a lot smoother than the standard, isn't it? There's no, there's no way this couldn't handle mirrors. No way. Yeah, this this version's looking on par with what we were playing earlier, so I'm I'm ha I'm happier with that, much happier. So why would the PlayStation have mirrors? Well, um, I'm not even sure the PlayStation standard has got mirrors. We'll find out tonight. Yeah, we'll find out tonight. Obviously, the PlayStation Four running on the PlayStation Five has got mirrors. Maybe there's um. Maybe it's easier on PlayStation for the game to recognise what platform it's being played on. Maybe it isn't as easy on Xbox because it's all great one great big family, isn't it? Um, you know, so maybe it's a lot harder on Xbox to define. Xbox One, don't show the mirrors. Everything else, show the mirrors. Maybe that's harder because they are designed to be one family that you know works across the board. Whereas the PlayStation 5, maybe it's just a little bit easier to say standard no pro yes playstation 5 yes maybe that's what it is but the playstation 5 would run the playstation 4 pro version yeah exactly but that's what i think i think it's a lot easier for the playstation to um <laughs> mirrors are a timed exclusive oh god yeah i should imagine that's what it is so maybe day one they'll switch it on the day one patch is coming with the fix for the scanner that we uh found last night the higher um employee button that's going to work properly the fix where we had trouble getting the trailer disconnected that's all coming day one hopefully mirrors are either coming to the the better consoles um or an answer of, as to what's what's going on maybe the mirrors have yeah let's have a look see whether the, you never know yeah you never know I doubt it. Options, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, nothing there. Are we are we uh, the next right here, aren't we? Yeah, next right. The frame rate though is uh, absolutely lovely on here. No, no issue at all on the Xbox One X. Just the mirrors. Could they make it so they work like uh, where you don't have to look? When you don't look, some they don't work. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just stick your head out the window. Yeah. All right. It's a bit slow for that, though. Oi, I'm pulling in. See, on the PC with the mouse, you can do that um, pretty quick. That's too slow. Yeah, we do need some options for um, filling that up. Yeah, Doctor uh, Doctor Hockey. I would say uh, I would say at the moment they're not working, are they? You can see that. So that we can only go on the information. I haven't had any information on whether the mirrors. I couldn't time down to any information about mirrors, so I left it. Yeah. Did you hear that reverse beep? Because I dared press brake a little bit. <laughs> Does not have mirrors, yeah, that's what I was fearing, yeah. Right, let's go and get some fuel and then we'll just do a cheeky delivery. I just this won't be a very long stream, about an hour, and I'll do the same tonight on the PlayStation 4 as well. Much much smoother. And yeah, some of the buildings do look a bit basic. Of course they do. I mean this you know, you just have to decide on whether that is a uh, game breaker for you. It's a fairly big map, you know, to go from north to south, you're talking about an hour and a half. So, you know, and there's no loading points, it's all streamed through the console 
all in one go so that's going to be something that you got to make your mind up i don't mind the graphics i'll be honest with you because we've got the drives because we've got the multi drops because we've got um you know proper trucks it doesn't bother me that much i'll be honest it doesn't bother me that this is all looking a bit basic here it just doesn't bother me that much um a scanner that doesn't work yeah that bothers me but um yeah at least i can show you the information and you can make your mind up yeah, standard ETS buildings don't look great. You're right, Hanksy, yeah. Oh yeah, other than the mirrors, the game already looks exactly the same as when I was playing it on the PlayStation 5. Yeah, they're definitely listening though, Chris. I had a good conversation this afternoon, and it seems that work is getting done. I mean, these days, well, these days it does happen, look at Cyberpunk, but you can't just release a game that half the brand you can't drive and I think they obviously know that and no don't reverse and they're looking into it right let's um let's do a job let's do a job let's go up to the food company actually we might be able to take something from here uh, uh no what go back no let's go to the food imp right okay let's have a look So we could take, um, so we're all the way up there, let's have a look. Let's go across to there, let's go across to, where does it want to go? Yeah, we'll take some, uh, to Hamburg. There you go, so let's go and pick that up. Mirror's not working yet, um, yeah, it still looks better than Truck Driver. Yeah, I think it looks better than Truck Driver, yeah. Um, but again, we're so, look, I can't look in the mirror to see if anyone's coming. So I'm just going to pull out. That's the sort of guy I am, you know? Yeah, I've got you, George. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah, it's been available for PC for about a month, yeah. Did they say anything about the sat-nav? No, I think improvements like that is not going to be a day one patch. It, it, it's not. <laughs> it's not, because it's not actually broken as such. It's just an extra feature that we want. The feature won't come day one patch. Absolutely not. But you've got that nice truck sound. I think the truck actually sounds all right. You've got some physics, i.e., you know, the truck slows down, coming up the hill. You've got a believable road system. I quite like the road system. I've got no problem with the road system in this game. And straight away it just runs nice doesn't it it's not you know it hasn't got that jerkiness or anything like that what are the other views for driving yeah you've got this third person one where we can uh, do all this sort of stuff you've got on top of the cab yeah nothing wrong with the sound and apparently it was filmed from real trucks as well um, see here I would normally look in the rearview mirror but you can't is it just really flicky then? Thought you might. Um, well, I'm not used to playing on controller, um, but yeah, that. Oh, <laughs> I'm well over, but yeah, how I'm driving it is how I got to drive it. Yeah. Can you upgrade the trucks? No. Yeah, the mirrors the same. There are no mirrors on all Xbox versions. All Xbox versions. <laughs> you are the best YouTuber. You help us with the game. You help us. I got, I got you, Onyx. I got you. <laughs> it's not normal having mirrors on a game like this yet. I, I know, I know. And the Xbox One X version will definitely have mirrors. You can almost guarantee that, can't you? It's just that I think it's probably harder to pre-program each individual um, console like they do on the PlayStation. Right, let's turn the engine off. Yeah, just a shame they couldn't do it on release. I mean, maybe they will. There is a day one patch coming now, so who knows? I can't guarantee that, and I couldn't pin him down to any kind of um, uh, chat about the mirrors. But, um, I mean, other stuff they were more than open about. Oh, there's the thing, yeah. But, yeah, I couldn't pin him down on any mirrors. It's not right, is it? I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm making excuses for the game, because I'm not. Driving with no mirrors on a driving game is ridiculous. 
absolutely ridiculous, even if it was terrible um, resolution. Get something working, you know, get something working. Right, there you go, we picked up. Actually, let's have a look and see whether we can do um, some kind of uh, multi drop. Where are we? We're actually, uh, oh, we're up here, aren't we? It is a bit finicky on controller, but I'm used to keyboard and mouse. Uh, right, let's have a look. We was going across there, wasn't we? Where's that then? The food in in Hamburg. Let's do that one as well. We'll take that. See, that's another little thing I like about this game, you know. I don't no. We've got to go back here, haven't we? Yeah, because we've chosen something else now. About to be a couple of hours stream now, let's go. No, it'll be about an hour and a half, something like that. Um, I think looking back without the mirrors is a great challenge. Yeah, oh yeah, it's not right. No, I don't think I'm saying it's right in any way, shape or form. I just think that's what's happened here is, is that they've decided that the standard consoles can't manage mirrors, right? That's down to them. I can only bring you the news. But what's happened here is, I think the PlayStation is capable of knowing what version it's playing so i don't think the playstation 4 standard has but the playstation pro and if you're running it on the playstation 5 you get mirrors i think it's easier to for the game to realize what it's playing xbox is designed as this sort of all-in-one family isn't it that's why this um uh, the free upgrade to the next one is all it's just all one ecosystem isn't it all the way back from 360 everything everything works together and that's why i think it's probably harder to decide xbox one doesn't have mirrors xbox one is does i think what they've had to do is just turn it off the whole way you know and i think that I, I don't know i'm not a developer that's what i'm reading from this that's why it doesn't work on the x even though you can clearly see it's got enough power to run this game absolutely uh, absolutely fine no signature no signature's been taken out hello roger how are you oh max is here hello max well, the, the, yeah, they've already said they're implementing the centre based on my feedback, but I don't think that's coming um, day one, but it is coming. They're working on it. So it's nice that um, they, they are listening. Not just to me, I don't mean that, but it's nice that they are um, they're listening. They're listening to people and, and trying to make the job um, the best that they can. One S. I don't know about the S, Colin. Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. So I can play this on Xbox One or not? Yes, Millie. That's what I'm playing it on. <laughs> Pigs. Everything else is just rubbish. Well, you know, I'm not here to give you an opinion. I'm just here to give you mine. You make up your own idea. You know, I can only just show you what I'm showing you. Yeah, the Xbox One S. Yeah, it's no, it's no more powerful, is it? So no, yeah, yeah, exactly. There's not going to be no mirrors on that one. The Scania is going to be playable day one. I've had a chat today with Martin, a very open chat, and that's going to be fixed day one, which is great news. And you know the higher button we had problems with last night? That's going to be fixed as well. So they're obviously watching the streams. They're obviously um, seeing what we're doing, seeing what we're up to. It's all good. Go through the red light. Bosh, done. But you can see the old uh, Xbox One X, there's no problem. I, I would call that 60, would you? Or is this, is as near as damn to 60, that's for sure. Hopefully you're still able to fly it yet. <laughs> Please don't fix the flying truck. <laughs> Are you scanning it a man? They do sound the same, George. I should imagine it's the same, yeah. The Scania is still buggy, yes, but it's going to be fixed day one. We've got a day one patch coming, and I don't know what else they'll manage to fit in that. I mean, we, we can only hope, can't we? Whoa, 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 whoa. See, we've got no mirrors, you see. Whoa! Oh, God, this... Steering on controller just is just not me. It's not me. I'm used to um I'm used to a wheel, aren't I? So don't judge the controller playing. You're probably used to it way better than I am and you'll be able to do this really gently and do it like that. Me, I'm like all, all or nothing. <laughs> 
So if I buy the game on an Xbox One S account and upgrade to an X, can I still play on the same account? Yes, you can, Colin. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, I think it looks great, Michael. Yeah, yeah, you can't change the color of the trucks just yet. No. <laughs> Cows as well as pigs. You just want so much, zero. This is your problem. I bet you like this in life, honey. Oh, I want it all, and I want it all now. I mean, maybe they would tell you that they're different sounds, but um, to me, they're, they're the same sounds. I'm told I can't I can't nail them down on specific brands. I'm told Thrustmaster and Logitech. That's it, and all of them. So, and I've got a TGT, and that did work. So maybe it is. See you later, Max. Yeah. Most importantly, stay units. I am Ramboing. Yeah. Well, you can turn the um, the sensitivity down, but you end up with such lag. It's it's horrible. So just don't take any notice of my steering. That's good, Graham. I'm, like I said, I'm not here to give you your opinion. You've already got your opinion. I'm just here to give you a bigger picture so you can maybe build another opinion. It's not, you know, I'm not here to try and turn you off a certain game. I'm certainly not here to sell you this game. I'm just here to show it to you. There's a massive difference. Massive difference. You're dying for proper trucking in console. Well, you have got it here. You have got it. You've got hour-long deliveries, two-hour-long deliveries, multi-drops. Um, you've definitely got it here. You've got, um, you know, a big map. You've got licensed trucks. This is just a starting point. I just hope that um, they take advantage of that starting point. And we have got a PlayStation 5 version, uh, next-gen version coming. Well, hopefully that'll be 4K graphics running at, at 60. I mean, yeah, we, then you've got a proper little game. And they can really build on that. I just hope the PlayStation 5 is a free upgrade reason being um, if it wasn't a free upgrade they should have released it at the same time so everyone's got a choice because at the moment if you're a PlayStation 5 user and you've got your eye on this you're gonna buy it aren't you it runs better on the PlayStation 5 um, and you want to play a trucking game and all of a sudden they bring out a couple of weeks later the PlayStation 5 version you're like what I've got to buy it twice um, so yeah yeah Yeah, you, on the road will not be pre-order on the PlayStation Store. It will only be available on the 11th. Uh, <laughs> signature is the main selling point. You're so right. Don't pre-order it. You don't need to pre-order it. Just get it on the day. Stop pre-ordering games. Stop it. Stop pre-ordering. Yeah, but I haven't had confirmation of that early in. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I need confirmation before I pass the information on. If I pass that information on, it might not be true. I'm not saying you're you're not true. I'm just saying I need to hear it for myself. Well, this definitely looks like 60 to me. Um, yeah, you've got console popping. I think you've just got to either accept it or not accept it. I mean, you know, there's only so much you can change. It is the Unity engine as well. It's not the most high quality of game engines. Um, and it's probably doing something it was never really designed to do. The Unity is best with um, uh, things like Cuphead. Cuphead was built in Unity and it just works perfectly for little indie games like that. Maybe a driving game? I don't know. I don't know the engine in and out. But it's probably not what it's best designed for. So you're going to have to put up with a few limitations. Same as the Unreal Engine actually with driving games. Unreal is hard to really get rid of that pop-up. It's very system hungry. So, you know, all I can do is show you and try and give you an informed opinion on what you're going to get. Yeah, working working um, mirrors, absolutely. I'm I'm pretty confident they're going to somehow get them working on on this console. There's no way that this this console can't handle mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> the AI are driving on controller too. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of limitations to the game, and I've tried to be so open and and honest to you, um, and about. The bits I don't like about the game, the things that I do look, you know, that hopefully when you get it, nothing's a surprise to you because I've already told you everything I possibly can, including the dodgy AI, including the AI without intelligence. That if you get in their way, they'll just plow through. But most of the time, we'll be spent driving like this, wouldn't it? You know, just to, you know, most of the time you won't interact, they're just there for decoration, aren't they? It's just occasionally uh, you have to get involved.
Yeah, I will agree with that, Jamie. They do want to improve, and the conversation I had today was very positive and like, yeah, we, we, we've got that sorted. Yeah, we've got that done. Um, so hopefully that goes like that with the rest. And, uh, you know, what I'd like is monthly patches so we can revisit it every month, go through the patch notes. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah, I'm liking the scenery on the freeway, on the motorway. Yeah, what I've, what we spoke about before is the fact that it is a bit boring on the motorway, but in a, I don't mean it in a derogatory way or, or put in, or in a, in a put down, because motorways are boring. We've said this a thousand times before. This actually looks like a real motorway in Europe. So, you know, yeah, it's not the most exciting motorway. It hasn't got dips and valleys and waterfalls and bridges, <laughs> but it looks like a motorway in Germany so they've got that haven't they <laughs> in turn one yeah <laughs> no of course it's not m normal um, Aiden apparently they are working on improvements to the AI um, yeah apparently they are <laughs> he's warming his tyres up <laughs> yeah little things like the sat nav you know to know how far away you are from your destination we need that but that can that can wait I can wait for that because it's already got everything we need the speed, the speed limit all the things that we asked truck driver to do um, again we were pushing for features on there that got there in the end but this is already starting with it so we're already ahead Yeah. <laughs> in the US they're the same Yeah. no it happens on the PC as well Michael Yeah. same with the AI pop in as well oh we're going off here same with the AI pop-in, you know where you see them drop? Um, probably a limitation with the um, Unity engine, it's exactly the same on the PC. It does seem to show up a little bit more in the console version, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's hope he gets to his family. <laughs> no, Yankees, no. No, I was more concerned with um, asking him about why the scan here isn't working. When Xbox Series S, either um, over the weekend or the start of next week. Tonight I'm going to do PlayStation 4 Standard. What we're doing here really, just a quick hour, just to show you how it's running. Yeah, you're going to be disappointed that there's no mirrors and it's going to be 30 frames. But we'll see. I want to show it to you. I want, to, I want you to be able to go to any stream in that playlist and go, right, that's my console. Let's see how it's working. And we'll revisit it when it comes out as well so I can show you what's been improved if anything what's been fixed if anything and um, just keep you informed really just keep you up to date and hopefully follow the progress of this game into into something that we all want on the console which is you know a, a quite an in-depth driving game with lots to do lots to keep us busy lots to keep us interested and uh, that's, all, that's all I want from it right there you go that one's done <clears throat> what uh, will the mirrors be on um, Series S? No, no, I can say that now. No, they won't. No. Think I need to buy a PlayStation 4 Pro? As there's no, yeah, there's no PlayStation 5s anywhere. They're talking about um, being out of stock for about a month as well. Crazy! What a horrible start to next gen. Yeah, terrible. I don't even feel like next gen is here yet because everyone isn't on board. Uh, developers aren't bored because hardly anyone's got them. What's the point? It sort of slowed down next gen um, development and just made everyone fed up because they can't actually get one. Yeah. Should standard PlayStation 4 have mirrors? No. Well, should they? Yes. Have they? I don't think so. I was able to order a PlayStation 5 yet. Well, was you, James? Nice. Yeah, nice. Right, let's get on with our next delivery. Let's see where we're going, actually. So we are... Oh, we're going to go up the road and turn round by the looks of it. And carry on all the way across here. Hang on, that's not right, is it? Where, where is this one? Oh, it's just there. Why does it... Hmm, okay. Okay, yeah, it wants us to turn round and go and deliver this. Yeah, not a problem. 
Yeah, just ask a question. Don't ask me if you can ask a question, because otherwise that is your question, isn't it? Can I ask a question? Yes. <laughs> just do a two to U-turn. No. See, I like all this sort of thing here, right? You know, with the, the, the trucks all parked up. I think it's just got promise. I just like the game. I like the way everything's all parked up. And you can go and do your sleep station here if you want to. You can sleep anywhere in the game. But I like to come and find one of these rest spots and do it properly. Yeah. It's lovely seeing other trucks in the game, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's all there, isn't it? It's, um... I feel more positive about the game today than I did last night, knowing that there's people behind the scenes fixing it and not just, um releasing what is broken because it was broken wasn't it last night yeah you'd rather have working mirrors and park trucks yeah you will you will madman i know what you're saying i'm not happy about the mirrors either don't think for a second i'm like oh yeah we don't need them i just think that what's happened here is it's um yeah i, I, <laughs> I don't know a limitation of time in which case delay it i, I don't know i don't know hello jay I'd rather have 60 frames and mirrors. That's what I'd rather have. Where is... Um... Oh, I'm looking for cruise control on the controller. Oh, it's that one. Okay, push down on the left analog. Rest stops and heavy loads. Yeah, heavy loads I very much doubt. Yeah. I very much doubt. Truck driver's map is tiny. That's why on the road. Yeah, I mean the the map here is is is, is massive, really. Um, it's not the most detailed map. You know, let's be upfront. It's not the most detailed map. And wow, that really does look basic there. Are they taking trees out and stuff because that really does look like uh, there's um, not much growing in this particular part. Do you think the mirrors will ever be added to the standard PlayStation Four? I all I can do is cross my fingers. I mean, this happened with SnowRunner, didn't it? You know, everyone was disappointed because the console version didn't have working mirrors. Next minute, update, bosh, we've sorted out the mirrors. Maybe it just takes time. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want any 30 frames, really, even if it is a driving game. It wasn't enjoyable last night driving at 30 frames. Uh, the minute you get up to a normal frame rate where it's not noticeable, sorry about my steering, you'll have to judge the steering for yourself. I find steering on the controller quite difficult. Um, yeah, there is con cruise control. <laughs> 45, I don't think you can fix at 40, that's the problem. Um, I mean, you can fix at 30 and 60, but I think on console you can't fix at 45. So you would um, you'd be dipping and dipping and all over the place. It's just it's just twitchy, but it seems to be the right sensitivity. But the animation's too fast, and I'm looking at the animation trying to straighten it up. So yeah, the, the sensitivity feels perfect, but the animation makes it look terrible. If you know what I mean. Yeah, SnowRunner mirrors wasn't an issue because there wasn't anyone else on the road. This has got. Um, at least 10 cars. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, I'm pulling out here. I haven't got a clue. It's really bare up here, isn't it? Really bare. <laughs> yeah, they're both at 10, yeah. In what way, madman? <laughs> the AI is trying to copy me, yeah. Oh, I like the arm animation. Yeah, I like that. Oh, different perspective. Sorry, Madman, I totally understand. Yeah, I like third person, didn't I? Tonight, Cal. But don't expect too much. I think expect disappointment. Um, yeah. Yeah, motorbikes would be good. I've got a motorbike um, mod on American Truck. And when we've covered this and this is all settled down, I'm definitely going back to American Truck. The beat is out at the moment. They've got a whole new lighting system. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in that. So we'll be going back to trucking on the PC. Maybe on the road, maybe. Well, 
Well, there is a day one patch coming to fix some of the glaring issues that we found last night, so that's a positive note. But, um, yeah. Hello, Lee. How are you? Yeah, they're putting a lot of work into ATS, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I want to get right on that. Also, my um, motion seat works with American Truck. I don't know how much it's going to work, but yeah, that be, could be quite good. Unless you forget next gen for now, focus on this gen and release a free upgrade down the line. Uh, Yes, that is one way of thinking it. Another way of thinking of it is they should have just gone next gen, but there isn't the custom base out there to make the development time worthwhile. I would have loved them to just go next gen. You know, this is what we've got. Yeah, there isn't many customers at the moment, but we're going to build up. We've got all that power. That's my personal opinion, but of course, I'm lucky enough to have a PlayStation 5, so <laughs> if you can't get hold of one, then you might think, well, hang on a minute, what about me? I want to play it on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Thank you, Alan Jones. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I got you, Roger, yeah. Well, I'd like to get to... Um, we'll, we'll pick a month and we'll try to get to number one in the UK on truck books. Does the fuel go down? It does, but not fast enough, actually. The fuel... Do you remember in Truck Driver, the fuel used to go down so quick? This is the opposite. It goes down quite slow. In fact, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to... I'm going to move the seat back uh, forward so you don't even see the mirror. There you go, that's what I'm going to do. If I was going to play this version, I don't even want to see the mirrors. That's it. That's it. And seat down. That's how I'm going to play this version. I don't even want to see the mirrors. Don't want to see them. <laughs> That's actually better, isn't it? You can see that bloody blue thing all the time. That's much better. I <laughs> want <What> mirrors. <laughs> I don't. I think at the moment all Xbox versions don't have mirrors, regardless of what platform you're on. Yeah. And without re repeating myself, if you wasn't in earlier, I think the reason for that is the PlayStation can determine what platform it's running on, whether it's a standard, a pro, PlayStation 5. I think it's just easier. With the Xbox being one great big family where you can cross-play and you can do whatever you want, or, or, you know, I think it's harder for them to determine, right, this is, the, this is the Xbox One, don't show mirrors. Xbox S, yes, do show mirrors. I think they probably just had to switch it off across the board on the Xbox version. Just do slow. Well, that is slow mo slow movements. Look, that is slow movements. Yeah. Let's just move on from getting ATS and ETS on the console. It's not going to happen. Just you know, get on with it. You know. <laughs> Yeah, just wait until the patch comes out then, Peter, that, that fixes it. I will keep you up to date on all patches that come out on this game. All patches. I'm sure it will in Japan. I don't see why not. It's probably just me, though, because if I slow down, and like, yeah, it's just it's just me, though. It's just me. I don't like bus sim on the, the controller. Do you remember when I played that on the controller? Put me on a wheel, please, you know? And that, that popping in of the AI, that is inherent in the game. It happens on the PC version as well. Um, I think the PC version probably does a better job of maybe um, hiding the horizon. You can see them pop in on this version. And that's on the PlayStation 5, the Xbox, the same. No, it's nothing to sort out, Artful. They've they're just got to do it there and there's nothing to do in the game. I mean, let's have a look. Let's, let's, let's try it. So if we go to options, um, steering speed. Let's let's go both. A, let's go down, and you'll see um, you'll see what I mean by this. It's better, but it's just too slow. Now I can't. Now I can't do nothing. I mean, it's better. I mean, it's nicer. Look at that. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Maybe it doesn't need to be ten on the actual. Um, 
Oh, I told them about the false feedback as well, and they did say that some of the values aren't being interpreted properly. So there's there's um, there's some big work being done behind the scenes, which is great. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay, we'll try it like that. That seems the setting is missing on console. Um, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Artful, art, artful. Yeah, yeah. On the console, you can put it into gear, can't you, and take it out. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah, cheeky like it never. It never hurts, does it? This is only going to be a short stream anyway. I just wanted to show. All of them will be short now. The PlayStation Four standard tonight that'll be about an hour long um the xbox s that'll be about an hour long because we're just repeating the same content and the same um the same stuff but i think it's important for people that have got those particular consoles just to see how it handles um apart from the mirrors this is this is good this is like the playstation 5 version or the playstation 4 running on the playstation 5 oh definitely hockey yeah yeah definitely <laughs> Can we do a petition? I wouldn't do a petition if they want. If they don't want to bring it, don't bring it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna beg them to bring it. Put it that way. <laughs> the Pete bot is working well. He's a lovely geezer. He's a bloody good mod as well. Yeah, definitely, Harry Bot. Don't you worry. I'm on your side. Uh, it's ridiculous about mirrors. I mean, now I've actually zoomed it in, so the mirror's not there. It's not worrying me as much, so maybe that's something you can live with if you're desperate for the game. Uh, that's what I would recommend. Get the mirror out of the way and it stops you thinking about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you are desperate to get it on release, then I would probably recommend doing that. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't mind... Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind um, a lesser draw distance, yeah. Yeah, just forget the steering. Don't judge my steering on controller. I don't normally play, so um, on controller, I only ever, only ever play on steering wheel. And it weird just pulling out without. I mean, you could do it like that and have a look, I suppose, each time. But that's not right, though, is it? That's not right. Yeah, eight o'clock tonight. We'll do a standard stream, PlayStation Four standard, for about an hour, um, and then um, I'm gonna set my cameras up, set another stream up, and we'll be playing iRacing for the rest of the evening. There are no mirrors, Michael. There are no mirrors. And also, um, when I'm chatting as well, it's hard to stay in a straight line, even on the steering wheel when I'm chatting, because I'm looking over there. <laughs> the game is so realistic, yeah. So yeah, only for about an hour tonight, just to show you. It, it's going to be fairly disappointing. It's going to be similar to... Uh, the Xbox standard version, you know. I mean, how many people have actually got a, a PlayStation standard? How many people play on it? I mean, it's still a viable console, don't get me wrong. That's what Max plays on it. That's what, you know, that's what he's got. But um, is there a shortcut for high beam? You can flash. Yeah, you can flash. You can hold that down as well. Is that your motion seat to the left of the camera? Yeah, yeah, there. That's my seat there. You do, yeah. Okay, so it's quite a few people, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Your wife. <laughs> you realise you're using the default steering setting? No, I'm not, because I changed it. I'm not doing the multiplayer eye racing, and we're still we're still collecting people. I'm gonna be doing the four eight eight challenge um tonight, yeah. Yeah, we you know, uh, the um the paid for server where I hire a server that's that's coming but it won't be straight away people are still getting on board and getting used to the game <laughs> happy to see you. I don't understand English at all please do your best in the delivery from now on <laughs> awesome awesome I love that is it GT Amiga racing the the rig is GT Amiga um, but the the um, the seat is and the seats are Sparco and the seat mover is a next gen um, uh, next next level racing Yeah, exactly, Cohen, yeah. Yeah, maybe it is time to upgrade, you know? Maybe it is. Do 
Yeah, Travis, all of your um, all of your stuff has this livery. There's no way at the moment to um, do customization, even change the color of the cab, or even change the number plate. It's just not there at the moment. Such a shame. I'm sure it'll come. I'm pretty confident it will come. No, it's not on Game Pass, no. So just don't judge my steering based on the game not being right. It's just the way I'm driving it. Um, yeah, I'm not the best on controller at the best of times. <coughs> this is why I'm glad they've decided not to put Flight Sim on, on the standard console. Can you imagine? Yeah, that would be just a mess, wouldn't it? The tractor unit, the Scania, you know the problem we had last night, that's going to be fixed in a bug day one, as is the hire button for the employees as well. I had a good conversation with Martin, um, not mine from Sodesco, a different mine, um, with Martin this afternoon. There's going to be a day one patch now, so they're, they're getting their arse in gear and getting it sorted, which is great. <laughs> Flight sim, we have no working windows. I don't think Windows work in Flight Sim anyway. It would make them self-destruct, yes, yeah. Scanners from Heaven, I haven't done that in this version, yeah. <gasps> Ace, not the best on Will either. Oh my god, Ace, that hurt. That hurt, Ace. That really went straight there, didn't it? What's the controls? I'll show you the controls and then you can um, pause the stream. Um, there you go. So if you just roll back and pause the screen, a uh, stream, sorry, you'll be able to see exactly what that is. I've had enough. This is so lame. Uh, and shows that devs don't give a dime about us Xbox players. I cancelled the pre-order and rather, I'll probably change your um, username then as well. <laughs> How do you know what bus sim 21 is going to be like? You don't know what that's going to be like. How can you look behind when driving? Well, you can't realistically. You could go like this, but by the time you've done that, <laughs> you've crashed. Or you could just flip out like that and just have a look around and make sure it's all good. But um, yeah, you can't basically, and it is a shame. Oh, that's good, Arif. I bet it will have mirrors as well. I have shown you actually uh, Bus Sim 21 on the channel. If you want to see it working, I I have shown it on the channel because um, my voice is going to be in it as well. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Judge that is it exactly the same. Are they sorting the mirrors out in the patch? I couldn't get any information on mirrors. I couldn't tie them down to any information on mirrors. It was just, you know, yeah, so I don't know. Let's actually see how far... I think we're nearly there. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, we're literally nearly... Ah, oh, I think... Have I just missed it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Sorry, lads. Have I just missed it? Or is it down there? Oh, actually, I think it's on the other side of the road, isn't it? I think. That's why it's looking... That's why it wants to take me all the way down here... I'm not sure. It is, it's the other side of the road, isn't it? Yeah, I can see the, the icon out there. Oh my god, we've got to go all the way over. <laughs> yeah, I can see the icon. Can you see it? The sort of um, like doorway on the other side. That's alright. No, Ken. You're always asking me that. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't be giving away codes. <laughs> is there more petrol stations and more scenery oh what do you mean different i mean different petrol stations no all the petrol stations look the same scenery obviously changes um depending on where you are on the map it doesn't change a huge amount um you know motorway is motorway and town is town bit of spit and polish yeah you give the spit and i'll polish it 
Do I get a hello? You do get one, Sam. Yeah, don't. You got to give it back though. You can't. You pass it around. Hello, Rob S. How are you? They'll fix it in a future patch, Aaron, but I don't think it's going to be a day one patch. Oh, I mean, in Truck Driver, there's only several service stations. Sorry about my swerving. I'm trying to read as well. Well, I mean, let's have a look. So the, the petrol stations, um, actually, with the petrol stations, it's not only to um, get petrol. You actually do deliveries for food and stuff as well. Um, but there's, yeah, there's loads in every city, every city. Here you go. There's, there's some there. Easy Tank. That's what easy tank. That's what they are there. Um, yeah, any city you go to, there's going to be um, there's going to be loads. So there's loads of petrol stations. Yeah, you won't run out of fuel. Yeah. Are there mountain roads? There's not mountain roads. No, no, there are hilly areas, but there's certainly not mountain passes that I know me and you would both, both love, where you go through sort of challenging areas. No, no, it's not that, no. That's good race. This is why I say, don't, don't pre-order. Don't pre-order. You don't need to. Do I think it'd be the same as bus sim? No, there's no buses in it, Charlie. Yep, they, I said that a minute ago, Madman. Yeah, they, they, they've had a look at it, and there's some. Um, what did they say? There's some values that are being interpreted wrong, so they're going to sort that out. I don't know whether that's day one, but they they're aware of it. Yeah, I said there's no false feedback; it's just false resistance, and it gets harder the more you turn, which isn't healthy for the wheels. Yeah, the fuel hasn't gone down yet, you're right, yeah, yeah, the fuel, oh no, it has actually gone down a little bit, nowhere near enough, nowhere near. Has your chair, oh yeah, has it, no, it's because it was over, because I haven't got my recenter button, that's why. Kind of makes you wonder how much time they had to play test this, yeah, exactly, yeah, it's not good. I don't know who he is, CDP, I don't know, um, Terry, I've got no idea, I can only give you my opinions. What's the longest journey you can do on this? Probably um, about an hour and a half, something like that. Depends, if you drive properly and, uh, like I am, <laughs> if you drive properly and um, stop at all the red lights, do the speed limit, it'll take you about an hour and a half to get from north, uh, south to north, you know. Yeah, very small team, yeah, yeah. Whoa, look at the, over there, look at the coach. Look what's going on over there. Some of the AI really needs looking at. I mean, expect bad things. If you if you go in with this, with your expectations set correctly, you'll be totally fine. If you go in expecting like the best trucking game in the world, polished like Euro Truck is over eight years later, then you're going to be disappointed. If you go into this knowing that it's uh, it's new on the consoles, there's going to be some patches, it's 25 quid, depends, it's down to you, isn't it? You know, I can only show you what I show you, and I'm trying to show you as much as I possibly can. Some people will just go, nah, it's not happening, is it? There is also the, the next-gen version coming. Now, Next gen version isn't going to change the heart, the uh, the AI. It's still going to be the same AI. Next gen is only going to be graphical improvements. But if they can get all these other bits sorted, and you've got a PlayStation Five or an Xbox X, you're laughing because it is a good game. I like this game. I like the multi drop. I like getting out your cab. I like um, staff. I like the real trucks. Um, but if you're expecting Euro Truck on your console especially if you've got an Xbox standard or a PlayStation standard, you're going to be disappointed. I think it's just about setting expectations right um, with this one. It's going to be a long journey, hopefully not as long as Truck Driver, and it's already way ahead of Truck Driver in terms of features and size and all that sort of stuff, but you know, there are, there are things to polish here that I wish were polished before release. They're not though, so what do we do, you know? 
No, I don't think this is more simulation. No, no, no. I, I wouldn't call this simulation. I think we ended up. I think we ended up calling Truck Driver Arcade as an excuse for not having too many features. I don't think it is arcade. What, what's arcade about? It's, it's a driving game where you're delivering and driving. I don't think. I think we just gave up with it really and called it arcade. It it helped help make sense of it. If you know what I mean. It helped pigeonhole it into what it is. Oh, it's lacking a load of features and it's a small map. Must be arcade then. You know, so I wouldn't I wouldn't call this arcade and I wouldn't call it um simulation. You know, Euro Truck comes from the angle of trying to simulate the truck, doesn't it? Um this light truck driver I suppose is is simulating the driving experience a little bit more. Yeah, still doing eye racing, yeah. I'm not doing um uh, community service tonight though, I'm still still getting to grips with my Ferrari. I'm doing Laguna Seca tonight. Well, if you had Euro Truck um, Simulator 2 on the road, I don't know what you were expecting from this on your console anyway. So obviously you've got a PC. Um, you know, if you've got a PC, stick with Euro Truck. You know, the whole point here is for people that haven't got a PC, I think. Yeah, I'll be doing hiring servers very soon. One, I don't know how it works. Two, I'm still getting to grips um, with with the Ferrari, so I want to I want to carry on doing that tonight. But maybe um, you might be able to come into my races, lads. Is the interior animated? In in what way? I mean, if you, the 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 sticks and stalks do do work, but you can't interact with them. How many likes, Jason, for you to move back to PC? What do you mean move back? What do you mean? I haven't moved away. Do you know if they're playing on anything more countries? Don't know. Yeah, don't know. Yeah, he's probably playing on the pro version, that's why, um, Visconti. <laughs> he's just saying it's still his birthday. <laughs> yeah, just forget my steering, alright? It's really hard for me to steer on the console. Like keep showing the console editions of this game. Oh, like keep playing on the road every time on PC. No, I won't be playing on the road on PC anymore. No, 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 that's done. My interest in this game was always for the console. So if it turns out good, I'll continue playing it. If it turns out bad um, and nothing happens, I just won't play it again. But I won't be playing on the road on PC. No, if I go back to trucking on the PC, it'll be American Truck. Steer it slightly. I know, I know, but look, it's, it's, I don't know if it's just not right or whether I'm a bit shit at steering. You'll just have to decide that for yourself. Can you explain the load damage? It's very simple. There are, there is no downside to it. You can just sort of whack it um, and that, that's it, that's it. What you've just seen there, that's it. There's nothing more to it. There's no like, oh, you'll slow down, you'll start smoking, you'll have to call the AA, that's it what you've just seen is the is the there's no damage to your actual truck you can never damage that you know you can come across here you'll, you'll never damage your truck never so it's got no visual damage it's got no um internal damage the only thing you can do is damage your load and that doesn't even do anything i think they only put that in to give you an achievement um you don't get less pay uh, you don't get le less reputation you just get an achievement if you uh, damage it was it 50% and 100%? So these these features are severely lacking, but I'm not too fussed about a damage system because I'm not planning on um, damaging my truck all the time. I can drive properly on steering wheel. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be knocking into things, are you? So I'm not too fussed about that. <laughs> no, oh, it's gone down 2%. I haven't noticed it, um, Paul. Well, if you saw the video, what are you asking me for? <laughs> Does it have SnowRunner steering? I never figured that one out. It is a little bit, yeah, yeah, because in SnowRunner, the steering wheel really does flick from one side to the other. <laughs> Fixing the car by crashing it, yeah. Hello, all school. Bonjour, my little sweetheart. How are you?
But these games are always best played on steering wheel, aren't they? Let's be 100% honest. I know not everyone's got a steering wheel, but they're best played on steering wheel, aren't they? Will the weather include snow? No. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, all good school. So we'll do this delivery. I think we've got to go all the way back up the motorway. So we've chosen um, we've chosen a long route, that's for sure. It does go down at night, yeah. You make your own mind up whether it's better than truck driver, I think. Uh, what they should have in game mirrors as a replacement for the actual ones, yeah, of course, yeah. Also, it's always hard for me to keep in a straight line and keep it still when I'm reading chat, as you know from driving. That's why they made it illegal that you can text. It's so distracting. Even when I'm on steering wheel, that's why I stay in the middle of the road. Obviously, when I'm on my own and just looking ahead, that's fine. You know, we can do that. How many trucks does it have? Um, two brands, three of each brand. Do the speed cameras work on console as they do on PC? Yeah, not very well. Yeah, farming is like that as well, confused. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Is any crap when we're watching? Yeah. Oh, good luck to him, Pete. You know, well, if, uh, if they do a good update, I'll go back to it and we'll revisit it, you know. Does the dev give you the impression that they plan to support the game long term? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. I mean, there's already a day one patch plan now because of the things that we've seen. Um, with the Scania brand not working. I'm, I'm surprised they haven't picked it up, but... The Scania not working, the hire button not working, and, you know, the other day I spent an hour trying to attach a trailer to a truck. That's coming day one as well. You do have to rest, yeah. Like, bottom right, you can see I've got an hour and 24... Um, rest in you just press the rest button and it goes black there's no real rest system as such you know you don't have to go and park anywhere i could rest driving along it doesn't work very well yes siege i'll be doing that tonight i've got an i9 um joseph do you think they rushed the game on console i wouldn't say rushed it um they probably just haven't refined it enough uh, and changed it enough for console. They probably just tried to do a, um, a direct port without fine tuning it. I should imagine that's that's where the future comes, doesn't it? What an eye racing slim? No, I wouldn't recommend that, mate. <laughs> right, this, we're at our last delivery. Standard tonight, yeah, just a cheeky hour 45, well, let's be honest, it'd be an hour by the time I talk shit at the start. It'll be an hour, won't it? We'll just have an hour, then I'll have a 15 minute break, set up my um, cameras, and then we'll do some eye racing tonight with my motion seats. Now, if you're interested in stuff like that, feel free to drop past. No, we have got some reduction there. Yeah, Paul's right. Yeah, price reduction. We've been reduced. Um, okay, so yeah, there is a price reduction and a reputation reduction if you start smashing it about. So it has got that, I suppose. Um, not a huge deterrent, but it has got it. But I think that is it, showing you the Xbox X. I think um, performance-wise, it's totally fine and acceptable. Obviously, you've still got the bugs in the game. Obviously, you've still got the missing features in the game. You still got the things that need sorting in the game. You still got the mirror issue in the game. But I think I think performance-wise, looking to the future, if you've got an Xbox X, make your own mind up. But I think it actually runs all right. I mean, I've got no problem with the way it's running. We just need them fe uh, features fixed across the board. Um, but yeah, that is it. Get your sickness tablets for the night. Yeah. Uh, so tonight I'll be showing you at eight o'clock the PlayStation 4 standard. I don't think the mirrors work in that. 
it's going to be 30 frames we're probably going to be moaning um it'll be about an hour long then i'll come back and do some eye racing so enjoy the rest of your afternoon and i will see you eight o'clock tonight if i don't enjoy your weekend